so good when it hits your lips. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Nate and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Globa! Happy 2019 to you all. This game has been going on forever, uh, largely because my upload schedule has just slowed down, been streaming a lot more, I don't know about, you know, YouTube stuff, uh, but here we are, we're back again, gonna try and complete this, this, I'll, I guess I'll call it a game, it is, it is just a game, isn't it? Mostly. But we live the game nowadays! Hey, what up, bitch? What's your name? Another silent guy, what's wrong with you? I'm, I'm fucking, I'm not silent, why is everybody like, oh? Silent protagonist, look at that! You think you're so fucking clever, don't you? You don't fucking think that I I can sit down and make a, a YouTube video or something like that! Sandstorm's raging, he's got a Krakazon out here, um, ground and grass, I do think. So let's go ahead and Brave Bird that shit. I don't want to fly and take Sandstorm damage and all that shit, so I'll just eat recoil from, from Brave Bird. That's fine, super effective, get the fuck out of here. No, it doesn't matter what your name is, if you smell what my pecker is cooking. <laughs> it's cooking up Bobby's! Bobby's and uh, Isadala Watatlo, which is what I was going to name my daughter. My wife hates that idea, because basically Isadala Watatlo is 1, 2, 3 in, uh, <laughs> in, in uh, Tagalog. I think it would be funny, but my, my daughter would probably hate me for it too. So I don't know. For now, we just we just have a little boy. We have a little boy, and his name is Bobby, and he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool, most of the time. Alright, Hentai is now even with everybody else at 59. That is super cool. He's got a Trisalon. Tri I don't know what the hell that thing's supposed to be. I ain't never seen it before! Uh, I assume it's a ground type. I guess I could roost. Let's see what it's gonna do. You got, you got rock type on you, or what? He looks kind of like a rock type, so we'll see if he throws a boulder. Head smash. Sure enough, that is dangerous. I don't know if I'm going to live. Oh, I just barely live. Probably sandstorm damage is going to kill me. Damn it. Didn't see it coming. Didn't see it coming. Oh, well. Pecker, you you served well. Your, your purpose is over now. You're like a 60-year-old man. Just got to retire you. 60, that's... That's fucking terrifying. I'm halfway to 60 already. I hope it doesn't happen to me. I hope it don't happen to me, but you never can tell. So, Drain Punch, Enema, Wood Hammer. I'm gonna go Wood Hammer. Yeah, Trick! Eat this! Eat this! It, it didn't work as well as I had hoped. Maybe it's like Steel or... Oh, it might be Bug and Ground. God damn. Well, it's super effective. That ain't good. I don't know if Enema's gonna KO. I expected Woodhammer to KO. Let's try out that Enema. Yum, 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 yum. Hopefully I can get some of my health back and KO him at the same time. Sure enough. And Douglas is immune to Sandstorm, so so that's really nice. I thought that grass ground typing was weird, but it works in my favor in this gym. Why? Because, bitch, get out my face! Now, now you want to be the silent pro protagonist too, huh? All right, all right, time's up. Leroy Jenkins. At least I still got chicken. I guarantee you he's gonna say that shit. Fucking Leroy sends out a co rooster. Uh oh, Douglas, you're not gonna be much good in here. I tell you that much right now. So we are going to switch immediately into Decker. Yes, indeed. Always doing the work that we need. There he is. That little drill boy. Drill boy? Oh, close combat. Fuck. He called me out. He called me out on that shit. Dang. I don't know if I'm faster than this thing or what. I, I kind of want to switch. I should have gone into Mysterio. Because Ghost and Electric. So couldn't take any damage from the close combat or whatever. But I, I don't know. I guess I'll switch it. I'll switch it and swap it, just in case that thing has rough skin as well. I don't want to lose Decker. I mean, the fucking Pokemon Center is right around the corner, but... I, 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 I'll just do what I want. How about that? <laughs> I don't have a good reason for doing the things that I do most of the time, but uh, I don't need one. 
I don't need one because I'm playing the video game. I'm driving this time around. Now he's getting a brave bird. That's fine. Go ahead. Mysterio's physical defense is pretty weak, but yeah. It's not a very effective hit. I should be able to nail this thing with discharge. This thing's actually faster than I thought, or Mysterio's slower than I thought. I don't know. Maybe because Mysterio's like a, a genie and he was trapped in a jar, so his speed is not very good, or I don't know. Douglas is up to 60. Douglas wants to learn Head Smash. Uh, we've got recoil moves for Douglas, though. Actually, should I learn Head Smash? God damn it. Let's see. Let's see what I got here. Earthquake and Head Smash would give some fucking amazing coverage. But I would miss Drain Punch. I really, really like having Drain Punch. I could get rid of Wood Hammer, because I've got Enema already. Hmm. 150. What is Wood Hammer? It's like 20% same type attack bonus, so I think Wood Hammer would still be stronger. Uh, yeah, it's basically about the same with the same type attack bonus. Basically, the only reason I would take Head Smash is for coverage, but... Its accuracy is also piss poor. I really like those 100 accuracy moves, so... I ain't gonna do it! Stop learning Head Smash! If I wanna do it later, then I'll find a way. But... We've been, we've been mostly rolling with what we got. Making the right choices. Mother fuck! This thing's gonna try and explode, I think. Which, uh, is not gonna work out well. Cause I got my ghost type out here! Discharge that shit. It doesn't affect him. Okay then. Okay then! got me with the spore. That's not good. At least I'm keeping him from exploding, but I don't I don't know what he can do, really. Aside from making all my shit sleep, which I don't like that. I don't like that. Is it ground and flying? I don't really I don't really know. Well, here comes Parish Song. So, maybe he has mean look or some shit like that. I don't really know. Mysterio's already asleep, so kinda kinda just fodder anyways. I'll let him mean look if that's what he's got. Sure, go for it. Woke up, use flash. It didn't work because it's fucking electric type move. I forgot all about that. <laughs> ah shit. Well, at least I'm awake now. How about that? How about it? Good job everybody. We're doing great things. And let's try the aura sphere again. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna do anything? This thing is, uh, resistant. Because flying type... That's not good. Well, Parish Song will kill us both next turn, so... We're probably both just gonna switch, and... I don't really know what to switch into. Ah, uh, What can take out ground and flying? I wish I had, like, an ice type poke. That would be a good idea. But I don't. Let's go to Hentai. Oh, it has Shadow Tag! It didn't even need Mean Look. Well, that's not nice. Withdrew Motherfuck sent out Potarded. Potarded? He's a buck of potato! Ugh. Well, that sucks. He's probably gonna do that same shit to all of my pokes, basically. Well, if he uses Paris Song again, he'll be able to get one more Pokemon, and that'll be fine. That'll be fine. We're gonna be good. Don't worry, everybody. I'll send out Keck. Keck makes me happy! Let's try, uh, X Scissor. Is this thing plant type, or what? Plant fighting? So it's neutral? That thing uses Psycho Cut. Ha ha! Ha ha! Maybe it's ground and psychic. Yeah, I think ground resist bug as well. So it's got to be ground and... and what? Something that's weak to bug. Either plant or psychic. I'm betting plant because it's a fucking potato. <laughs> Rocky helmet hurt potarded. Got him. Fucking got him all day, coach. And yeah, he's not taking damage from sandstorm, so... That is my highly educated guess. <laughs> I feel super rusty about Pokemon recently, though. I don't know what I'm doing most of the time, you know? That's always sad. I guess this thing's gonna spore me again. It has shadow tags, so I'm... kind of fucked either way, aren't I? Hmm... Faint attack. Faint attack will work fine. That should hit neutrally. 
Although this thing seems to have pretty okay defenses. I did get a crit though. Suck on that. Suck on that. And I am faster. So once I can wake up, I can make an attack on the wake up turn. And I can make an attack before he does anything else. And hopefully Kek, Kek could live. Wouldn't that be amazing? Kek has pulled us through some tough times. Really been on the fucking team since day one. You know what I mean? One of the first Pokemon I caught made it to the very end, along with Pecker. I'm really excited to see how um, the, the early route Pokemon that you get are still super viable, even in the end, end game of this extremely hard uh, version of Pokemon. He uses Explosion, it's probably gonna KO. Oh, Kek lives! <gasps> oh yeah! Look at that shit! I told you, she's just, she's just a boss. It's not my fault! Are you sure? At least I have chicken. There it is. There it is! Hey, everybody! Hey, hey, everybody! So, is there another switch to step on or something? I should probably get somebody on my team who's, like, prepared and shit. Really, Hentai's the only one that, uh, has full health still, so... That'll work! What up, Trick? What you want, homie? Those taters ain't mine. I just stole them. You gonna get shite, nigga? Oh my god. Why... Why you gotta... Why you gotta be so cruel? Also, you're you're really, um... Really quite pale to be using such... Such language. Retator. Oh, fuck. And I've got a plant Pokemon in against this... Crap. Maybe we could bounce. Let's bounce! Yeah! Bouncy booby! And that power whip is gonna fuck me up if it hits, if this thing lives. Hopefully I'm just gonna bounce the fuck out of it, and it will either paralyze this thing, or crit, but it missed. Wow. Okay then. Okay then! Fuck me, I guess. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh! This tater has some superpowers. Super superpowers! Hmm. I got nothing. I got nothing. I could bring in Decker. Should probably uh, get some Heelys for Decker, and then we could we could send him in there. He could do some shit. That'd be cool. Keck is also not a bad choice, but I have the most faith in Decker at the moment. I'm sorry, Hentai. You made the sacrifice, and and that's all we could ask of you. We'll bring you back later. All right, here we go. Here's my drill boy. You're gonna get drilled in the ace. Yes. Take it, take it. Uh Shell Smasher Ironhead. Shell Smasher Ironhead. Let's go, Ironhead. Let's just let's just put some damage on this thing. Already KO'd one of my Pokemon by dodging. Oh, he used Bide. Perfect. That is quite a, a ret retatered move. Ret it, it's retarded. You should never use Bide. This gives me uh, the opportunity to Shell Smash at least a couple of times. And then he'll be like, I unleash my energy! And I'm like, heh <laughs> You're fucked. Now I can, uh, yeah, put you in the ground. Which you probably like getting put in the ground, because he a tater! You know what I'm saying? I am giving up all of my defenses, though, so... Hopefully I won't get hit by anything. That's really the problem that I have with Head Smash. Super, super strong move, but super, super risky with 80% accuracy. No more risky than Hydro Pump or Fire Blast, though, I guess. It's still pretty reliable. It's okay. You're probably not going to be able to sweep a whole team with it, though. Alright, here we go. Starter up. Oh, look at that, level 61. Decker, leading the pack all day. Alright, here comes a bunch more taters. Everybody look out! He's got taters! Alright, let's just keep using Iron Head. I don't really give a shit. I don't want to take the recoil damage from Head Smash just in case this thing comes out with like a fighting or ground type attack, which would really end up fucking Decker up. But uh, I think Heads, or Iron Head is just gonna sweep through his entire team. I get two, sh two Shell Smashes under my belt, it's, it's over. It's over all day! Man, I love potatoes. Aren't potatoes like the the food of the gods, you know? They're just so delicious. It's the best vegetable ever made. I, I don't understand. 
Why doesn't everybody eat potatoes all the time? It, it just, it's so good when it hits your lips. My wife ain't a big uh, potato person, but that's because they ain't really got it in the Philippines like that. I mean, you could buy potatoes here, but it's not the same. It ain't those Idaho potatoes that are as big as your fucking head, you know? It's, it's like little potatoes, mostly. But my wife likes, uh, you know, different vegetables. She likes the kamadi tops, which is like sweet yam uh, leaves and shit like that. And of course I tried it, and of course it's actually not too bad. Not too bad. I tried basically everything over here in the Philippines. They're like, hey, want to eat a rat? I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Want to eat a dog? Yeah, I guess, whatever. <laughs> Rats good, dogs not. <laughs> Don't ever eat a dog. But, you know, it's a different culture. If you're over here and you're broke, then um, you want to have some some meats. Some meats while you're drinking. So, I guess I guess dog is what they pick. Especially in, like, Iloilo. We're in Zambales right now, so it doesn't happen as often with everybody. But it's it's a little bit shocking when, when it does happen. They're like, hey, want some sea sig? I'm like, oh, sure. And my wife's like, don't eat it, it's a dog. <laughs> I'm like, god damn it. Shit, that's what I said, man. I'm a good boy. I ain't done nothing. That's true. He's gonna be a doctor. He's gonna be a doctor. He was going to church. Going to church. Going to be a doctor. What the fuck is with this puzzle, man? Oh, oh, hey. Lack of female representation is much disgusting. I'll tell you what's disgusting. <laughs> let me let me enlighten you. Feminist Nisha sent out motherfuck motherfuck motherfuck. All right, that's fine. You can explode on me. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm gonna enema. Enema. That should hit neutrally. At least I'll be able to get some health back before this thing fucking explodes on me. Gives me absolutely no experience for defeating it. It's frustrating. I understand why this thing is so, uh, so despised. So I gotta k KO this thing, um, within the next two turns, and then I can switch? Or is it just... Oh no, okay. So I've got basically one turn to KO it, and, uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Let's go Woodhammer. Hit it as hard as possible, so we can switch out before Paris song is all, all up in my shit. So we did it! Hooray! It's also got a menopause. Oh no! Oh no! It is intimidating. Look at the nipple schmank. <laughs> Looks like fried eggs hanging on the nail. <laughs> um, I think it's normal type. It might be fairy type. It started with like cheerily and shit like that. It was it was beautiful when it was young and then it got older and oh I see the statement they're making. Uh uh uh. Let's try earthquake. Earthquake the shit out of this thing. And then I'll have to switch if it doesn't KO. And it doesn't. Here comes close combat. And I lived! I lived! Everybody! I lived! But uh now its defense is all dropped and shit like that. So, uh, I, sh I should be able to KO it on the next turn? I'm not really sure. I'm not 100% sure. I guess I'll roll a dice on it. Hey, little boy's back in the room. What up, little man? And actually, I was able to KO that thing. Super awesome. Haha. Uh -huh. No Parish song today. How dare you? I, I don't know. I just, I just came to do the thing. These shitlords didn't even have a girl in this gym, so I forced the town to let me in here. Well, that was, uh, sure thoughtful of you, wasn't it? You're a grand trainer to have along for the ride. This seems to be opening up a little bit. I don't understand how or, like, which switch is doing what. It's a little confusing. Hmm, should I... I'm a hyper potion kecker. Ah, <laughs> kecker. Uh... Yeah, let's actually just get out of here. How about that? Oh, I can't get out of here. Shit. Alright. Then I will continue to fight. As we do. I'm gonna leave Douglas in the front. Maybe he can slurp up some help. Aben, Aben, Warem Awa Tu Ben Ben. Warem A Blah 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 Blah. 
Ben, what? Are you... Is that... What is that? Rocker GG. Oh, GG! Nice to see you! And he's got like a fire type. I think it's fairy and fire or something like that. So we're gonna have to, uh... Try the earthquake, I guess? I'm pretty stupid for doing it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. That's fine. Decker can come up in here... Come up in here and just like sweep anything anyways, so... I ain't too worried. That thing knows power whip, which is interesting. I don't know where you learned that. I thought it was fire and fairy. I, I could be completely wrong. It could be ground and fire, or it could be, uh... It could be basically fucking anything. Hopefully magnitude will hit and, uh... Get a nice number. A nice big number. Put the numbers up there. And it's got moon blast. That's why I thought it's a fairy type. I'm surprised that the shit has stayed in my head for as long as we've been doing this playthrough. But, yeah, we should be able to KO next turn. Magnitude 7. Seems like it'll be alright. I'm not sure why it's not hitting super effectively. Maybe that thing's not fire type at all. I just think that because you use fire to cook spaghetti. Does that make sense? <laughs> Is anybody following this line of logic? Now he's got Sem Demon. Um, water and grounds? I'm not sure. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm just going to go for Magnitude again. Magnitude 9. Ooh. Suck on that. It's still not enough. And it is, yeah, I think water and ground. So, I'm not sure what to do next. Maybe use a revive to get Douglas back on his feet. And then we could... We could go to town and get our, all of our health back from uh, draining this thing. He hits me with another hydro pump. That's okay. Sorry, Decker. You had to make the sacrifice. Just all kinds of sacrifices today. I'll probably need to level up a little bit because um, I'm just barely scraping by on these these little trainers. So it makes me a little bit nervous on how how large the uh, the boss's team is going to be. But if we if we play our typing right, if we spam some healing potions and shit, we probably get through it okay. And then I could be like, hey everybody, we're gonna go on to the Elite Four, and then. Yeah, probably Victory Road is a couple more episodes, Elite Four is a couple more episodes. So, we're we're winding down, which makes me happy and sad all at the same time. There's Elvis pretzel -y because it's got a pretzel, and it's Elvis, and Elvis eats pretzels, I guess? I don't know. Does he eat pretzels? I don't really understand the, the reference here, but, uh... It's, it's something they put in the game, so I guess somebody liked it enough. Luckily, able to give that thing an enema, and all of its health is now mine. I'm back to full health. That style, that passion. I'd love to fly with you sometime again. Okay, bro. You're the best, the best, the best, the best, the best, the best, the best. My newest song's almost done. I want to call it Eternal Love. Wow, that's a, that's a great name for a song, isn't it? Now I'm going to reset all the shit that I did inside the gym because I want to go heal my pokes. Oh well. It was worth it to use the revive. I think we would have lost half of our money if I didn't end up using that revive. I should probably go back to the shop and buy... Buy more. Buy more? Make more! And then you buy more. And then you make more. How much money I got? A good amount. A good amount. I need to go to a shop that isn't a piece of shit, though. Because this is like the very first town. It's not going to work very well. Let's go to, uh... What's this place? Battle Channel? I don't know what the fuck all this is. Outcast Island. That's where I'm going. There's all that stuff over to the right now. Was that there before? I can't remember. I don't remember. Alright, here we are. Hey, bruh. Can I get some, uh some whatevers and shit. That would be cool. It's so pricey. And you want five? No, I want six. Give me six of them. And full heals. I think we got plenty of full heals, don't we? Yeah, 15. We got revives. I need revives. 
You want ten revives? Uh, give me five. I take five revives, and then I probably need some, uh, some Pokemon balls. I haven't done much catching of Pokemans. I got 25 of these fucking things. What is that? Let's get some max potions. You want three of them? I, I guess, whatever. That's all I can afford. I'll see you later. I like to imagine my character is just like a little boy, and he, he puts all his money on the counter, and he's just like, How much can I buy with this much? How much? I, I trust you completely. And they don't take advantage of him, because this is a, a nice family sort of game, you know? You know? Everybody likes that. Oh, so I can't go up that way. I gotta... I gotta push all the buttons again. Alright, here we go. A one button. And a, a two button. There we go. I think I can run over there now. Yeah. Get him. Oh, and I locked myself out. Son of a beehotch. Well... This isn't, uh, going as I'd hoped. Is it up this way? I can't maybe. Alright, now this one's open. And... Roundy round? No. Not yet. Oh, just up this way. Ha ha! There he is! But first, this battle. Uh, you single-handedly defeated an evil organization and stopped the world crisis? Yawn. Well, thanks for, you know, uh, giving me giving me credit where credit is due. I didn't do it all by myself. I had my Pokemon team behind me. Hell yeah. Here's Knock Edge. The Wedguard Evolution. I know that thing is ground type, so I'm just gonna use Surf. Surf, and hopefully it works. Ooh, it's got Stone Edge. Damn. That hurts. But if it's ground and stone, ground and rock, what the fuck is stone? Ground and rock, then it should KO in one hit, and indeed it does. Get Hentai a little more leveled up here because God knows I'm going to need it for the uh, the final battle there. Okay, what was I gonna do? Probably uh, switch into Douglas. Douglas! We'll sweep this uh, watery ground watery thing right up. Oh, but this thing has fucking sludge bomb. Why? Why must you do? Well, that's fine. Even with the... Oh no, we're not gonna take sandstorm damage. I, I don't know what's going on in my brain right now. I just can't keep my thoughts together. But we're gonna be able to enema this thing and uh, slurp up all of its health and I'll take a little poison damage and be like, eh, so what? So what? I still came out on top. I'm still here. I'm still standing. I'm still strong. Oh, we didn't quite come out on top. For some reason, this thing is able to to live through. Is Semrus like the the evolved form of Sem Sem Demon? Because I thought it was the other way around. I'm I'm not sure what's going on right now. But that poison damage is fucking ticking away. I don't know if they increase the poison damage or or, or what in this game, but it seems to be hitting a lot harder than it usually would. Um, so, 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 two Pokemon left, he's got a Fab Cube, Oh, fabulous! I'm pretty sure that thing is Fairy and Ice, right? It takes damage from the Sandstorm, so I'm going to roll with that assumption. So we need to get Douglas the fuck out of here before he eats an Ice Attack. We'll go back into Hentai, I believe. Yeah, that's work good. Mysterio is also an option, because he's got that Flamethrower, but... I'll, I'll wait on it. I'll see what happens with this. Here comes the ice beam. Should be able to eat that right up. Ooh, it's a crit. God damn. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat another ice beam after sandstorm damage happens. That's troubling. Well, I'll let whatever happens, happens, I guess. Try and get the milk drink off. He goes for blizzard and misses. Well, no shit, because it's it's... The weather is sandstorm. You're never gonna hit a blizzard in sandstorm. Uh, so that's good. I'm able to get the milk drink there. And maybe do it again. Maybe just do it again. I gotta keep my pokes on their feet. 
It comes Moonblast. I think it's a neutral hit. Fairy against Fairy doesn't uh, resist or do anything. Damn. That is quite a special attack stat. That is really painful. So I, I assume the, the joke on this thing is like a glass cannon and its attack stats are through the roof and its defenses are paper thin. So I should just probably go for a Drain Kiss or something like that. And hopefully I'll be able to to hit decently if I live. There we lived. Come on. Give it up. I want all your health right now. And actually it's got some decent defenses I guess. Hey. This puts me in a bad situation. Because... Um, I'm basically going to die next turn. So let's switch into Decker now. If Decker dies, that's relatively okay because he's got a level on top of everybody else. So, yeah. We live. We live. That'd be okay. He is able to resist Moonblast, Blizzard, all this bullshit. And he doesn't take damage from the Sandstorm. And Iron Head will also hit like fucking ultra effectively, so. I don't know why I would switch into uh, Hentai over Decker anyways. That was a, a dumb decision on my part, honestly. But it turned out okay. Everything went great. Don't worry, guys. I gots it. I gots it. One more poke to go. Cockademon. Oh, God. This fucking thing. I think it's poisoning ground. Is it? I don't know. I'm just going to go for Iron Head. Play it safe. There we go. And he's using iron defense. That's not good. If I could just whittle this thing down enough to uh, to let Hentai come in and finish the job. I could also try and shell smash against it, but I don't know if that's really going to work either. How about Magnitude? Does it have a poison typing? Is the reason that I'm using Magnitude. Let's see. It's super effective. Although not effective enough to get through that fucking iron defense, so... I don't know. Magnitude some more? Hope for a fucking... Uh... What you call it? Magnitude 10? Critical hit? Something like that? Magnitude 8 is gonna do nothing against this thing with two iron defenses on top of it. So... I'm kinda just... I'm kinda just waiting to see what happens. Oh, and it knows slack off. God damn. Do I hate... Alright, I'm gonna go for the Shell Smashes then. I'm not gonna play this whole fucking waiting game. No can do. I got a boss, boss to fight. Probably in the next episode, but... We, we cleared this entire gym, which is a really nice thing. I just don't want anybody to faint, and then we gotta run out and do the whole fucking puzzle over again. I mean, I'll probably edit that part out, but I, I just don't want to do it, like IRL. <laughs> You guys don't have to watch it, but I just don't want to do it. So, we got two Shell Smashes up. He's got maximum iron defenses on. So I'll need to Shell Smash one more time. I don't think it has anything to hit me. It has Sludge Bomb. Um, iron Defense. Slack Off. What's the last one? I'm not sure what the last one is. Have we seen the last move? Anybody remember? I... Uh, I don't. So... If he could hit me, he'd probably be hitting me by now, so I think we're safe with our, our plus three shell smashes and we can finish this shit right now with Magnitude. Magnitude 9. Uh, eat it, Sockle. How's that gonna do? Oh, oh. Better than I could have hoped. Wonderful. Critical hit, super effective. It made the baby cry. That's how good it was. I'm going to do some crying, too. I've met, like, seven kids who have done that. Only seven? How few people have made it this far. Pokemon Adventures was so much better back in the day when you didn't have to save the world and just journeyed by yourself. Well, I think that's going to be about it for this episode. We'll fight the gym leader in the next episode, get on Victory Road, hit up the Elite Four, all that happy horse shit. Um, yeah. Like I said, I'm pretty sad to see the series come to an end, but it had to happen sooner or later. I'm glad that I could actually complete the series rather than putting it into progression purgatory like so many other series that have fallen by the wayside. 
I thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe on this episode if you did enjoy. You could also uh, give me team suggestions, whatever you want down in the comments if you played this before. If you haven't, I should probably also link you guys to, to the download, so I'll try and remember to do that as well. Um, we've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon! Uh, I've also got some other stuff down there, but those three are where you can contact me the easiest if that is something that you would like to do. Anyways, big shout out to Nico the Legend and MMX Akira for supporting us over there currently. Whoop whoop, those boys, my fucking hero. We're gonna fight the gym leader in the next episode. I hope that you join me for it. Once again, friends, this has been Pokemon Clover! I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. <laughs>